Hi guys, welcome to another mod download tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download Better Than Wolves. Um, as you can see we've been playing Better Than Wolves on our channel for about a month now, finding it really good fun. Um, but I thought that I'll show you how to download it because, uh, well, it's just, just an awesome mod. And it's a little bit different from, uh, you know, downloading Feed the Beast or Forge mods, uh, since it doesn't use Forge. Uh, but it also doesn't use Mod Loader, so it's a little bit simpler in that way. Um, it doesn't require too much more work. Uh, you just have to do a, a couple of different things, but you only need to download one thing, and then you just need to make sure you have WinRAR uh, installed, uh, and then it should be fine. So what we need to do, first of all, is we need to go and download Better Than Wolves. Uh, so the version at the moment is uh, version 4.99999 AOC marsupial uh, question mark exclamation mark. Um, and all we have to do is go on to this uh, Minecraft forum page, put a link in the description, uh, but you can find it easily by just basically typing in Better Than Wolves on Google or something, and it will just come up with this page. Download link is just three lines down, very simple. Download link there. We'll go across to Mediafire. Um, there's a load of this. This page is absolutely huge. There's a load of different uh, recipes and stuff. It's a little bit out of date, so you probably want to go and head over to the wiki uh, to find out about the mod if you want to. But I recommend actually that you just go and um, go and see, uh, just see see what the mod uh, includes for yourself. Don't sort of um, don't sort of look it up if you if you can help yourself, um, because it's really good fun to sort of discover the changes that Ben and the Wolves have made. But either way, once you download that. Uh, you will get a download here, a .zip file, and if you go inside it, you'll see that there's four things. There's a server, there's a server jar, a Minecraft jar, Vessels config, and README. So the README just includes a bunch of stuff about uh, the changelog. This is the whole changelog, so it's, as you can see, there's been a lot of changes over the last uh, three years or so that uh, Better Than Walls have been made. Um, and you'll get, so, so two things here. Now, I'm going to start with the, the, the normal single player. Um, Beth and the Wolves because it's just uh, it's basically just uh, simpler for me to show you how to install the single player first. So what you need to do is you need to uh, first of all uh, put this one Minecraft jar to the side and then bring another folder up to the side like this. Okay. And what you want to do is you first of all want to find your 1.5.2 versions folder. You want to go into your Minecraft launcher if you don't, haven't already. You need to go and download version 1.5.2 of Minecraft. Um, so you need to just make a new profile. So let's make a new profile right now. Um, let's go here and we'll call it BTW. I won't actually make a new profile but I'll just show you what you have to do. And then you don't want to click the game directory because I, I have got a game directory for Better Than Walls but I found that um, it uh, you need to, because 1.5.2 is before the new launch was made, uh, that version has a little bit of trouble if you make a new game directory. Uh, so I highly recommend actually that you don't have a game directory and just keep it in the vanilla Minecraft uh, dot Minecraft thing. Um, it might be a little bit more messy, but the game will work better. Basically, it's a lot more, less finicky when you want to install texture packs and things like that. Uh, and and saving games is sometimes problematic as well. But it doesn't matter. Just don't put a game directory. Uh, JVM arguments if you want to change the amount of RAM you use. And what you want to find is you want to five, find 1.5.2 somewhere down here. There you go, 1.5.2. And then what you want to do is you want to make the new profile. And then you'll have, you have to download all of the 1.5.2 stuff if you haven't already. And then when you have that, the game will start at 1.5.2 and just close it down straight away. And then if you go into your uh, app data roaming dot Minecraft versions uh, file, you will find the uh, 1.5.2 file up here. So it's got a couple of things in it, not much. But what you need to do now is you need to copy this. You just need to uh, copy and paste. There we go. So what you need to do now is call this something like Better Than Wolves. Actually, let's call it BTW for, for ease. Okay, so now we've got BTW down here. What we need to do is also rename these .jars and .jsons to BTW as well. So the same name as whatever you call the folder. You've got to make sure that it's the same name as the folder. Like that. There we are. Then you need to go into this .json file with like Notepad or WordPad or whatever you want. And you want to try and find this ID here, and you want to re rename that to whatever you call the folder as well. So BTW. Uh, BTW. Okay, there we go. Okay, now what you need to do is you need to save that. And now you'll see uh, that you will have this .json with BTW in it. Okay, that's good. So now what you need to do is open up this .jar here, the BTW.jar. You need to uh, drag that over. 
And what you need to do is you need to go into this Minecraft jar, make sure it's not the server, get the Minecraft jar here. First of all, delete meta-inf inside your uh, vanilla Minecraft, so delete that. And then simple as just highlighting all of this and dragging it across. Wait for it all to go across, press OK over here, and there you go. You've got all the Bet on the Wall stuff in there, ready to play straight away. So all you need to do now is just close down these dot jars. I'll leave that one open because I'm going to use it in a minute for something else. And now you've got the best of all's jar ready to play. So if we go into the Minecraft launcher and we make a new profile, let's call this one BTW. You can now go into use version and you just need to go release BTW and then you just click uh, save profile, use that profile and then you've got all you need to uh, to play Bet on the Walls. You've got the Bet on the Walls mod installed. Um, actually, in fact, I'll just show you very quickly. I'll just make uh, a very quick um, thing here. So I'll just call it test. There we are. BTW test and release BTW. GVM arguments, don't need any of them. And then we just click save profile. Find BTW play and we start it up and we've got Bethlehem Wolves installed windmills what windmills yes this is Bethlehem Wolves uh, we can go into a world uh, we can go into yeah, this world here the test world I guess and we will see we've got Bethlehem Wolves installed if we go here look Bethlehem Wolves 4.9 marsupial and we just need to um, you know you can just play with it now this is actually um, uh, an older version of Bethlehem's. It's not. It's the not the not the one quite up to date. This is just the version uh, just before the latest update. Um, I just renamed it just to show you what it looks like when you download it. Um, but don't worry about that. At least we have Bethlehem's installed. That's how you install it. Every version that will ever come out in the future and every version that's ever come out is installed in that way. You just drag over the Minecraft.jar contents. Make sure you delete meta info before that, and then you'll be playing Bethlehem's if you make the profile like I showed you earlier. Now, if you want to download a server, um, you need to download the 1.5.2 server. Now, that's a little bit more difficult because you can only download the latest uh, server version from the uh, Minecraft.net. So, what I've got uh, is I've used a special program, uh, which I need to go over to my downloads, Minecraft-related apps. And you need, to, what I found is something called a craftinterminal.exe. I can't remember what, I think it's just called the Crafting Terminal. Here we go, Crafting Terminal. And just start up that, craftinterminal.exe. So just install the Craft and Terminal. it's pretty simple. And then you'll come into this. And then you'll get a whole load of pages. But what you want to find is the Minecraft versions up here. And then what you want to do is just scroll down until you find 1.5.2. You want to download the server and put that wherever you want. So let's make a new server. Uh, let's make a new folder. Let's call it just uh, BTW test. Let's go in there. Save it as uh, 1.152. There we go. And it will start downloading. Or has it downloaded already? Oh yeah, it's already downloaded. Wow, that was quite quick. Uh, so this is your uh, server. Minecraft server, vanilla server. There we are. It's as simple as that. Uh, now we need to get a, a dot .bat to start it up. So I'll quickly go over here and get the dot .bat. Uh, where is it? It's, no, it's not in here. It's in the server. And you just need to find that. It's just a dot .bat. And I'll show you what you put in the dot .bat um, in a minute. You can find this off other, other sites as well. But basically, you need a .bat file to run the server. And uh, if we edit it, then we can find in here a little very simple thing. Um, we need to make sure this is called 152 because that's the folder we're opening. 152. So all you need to write down is something like Java space dash XMS and then the like the minimum threshold I guess for for RAM space dash XMX for the maximum amount of RAM to use. Then space uh, dash jar space and then the name of the dot jar that you're going to run. Simple as that. Press save when you've got it. And uh, now if you run this, you'll get a vanilla server. So if we uh, start this up, we're actually starting up a vanilla server right here. There we go. So you can see, just a vanilla server, nothing weird. And there we are. That's a vanilla server. Simple as that. And all the different uh, things will start running. You can add whitelists and stuff like that. Your server properties down here, ops, band players, and stuff like that. So very simple, and it will generate a world as well. Um, so what you want to do, if you want to uh, make sure the server's best than wolves, you need to come across here, close down this, 
and go into your Minecraft server jar. Now in this one you do not want to delete the uh, meta inf. Make sure in the server you do not delete the meta inf. In the client you want to though. Uh, so what you want to do is you just want to highlight all of this. So you can just uh, hold down control A, drag it all over, and there you go. All of your files for Better Than The Wolves server is in there. So now we start up the server and we'll see that we've got a Better Than Wolves server. Look, it says Better Than Wolves version 4.9 marsupial. Again, this is, a, of course, the older version. So if you're downloading the latest version up to now, it will say something like Best Than Wolves 4.99999 marsupial question mark exclamation mark. Um, that's if you've got the latest version. But either way, we see we've got Better Than Wolves there. Um, so that's, that's easy. So there we go. Very easy uh, to install if you know what you're doing. Um, uh, so hopefully this uh, has, has helped you. Anyone who doesn't know how to install Better Than Wolves uh, on the latest uh, Minecraft launcher. Uh, if you do have any trouble, make sure to um, post a comment and I'll help you as quick as I can. As soon as I see the comment, I'll make sure I respond and help you out if you're having any pr trouble. Um, so yeah, there we go. All the links that I use in, in the description. Uh, so I hope you have enjoyed and have been helped by this if you wanted to install Better Than the Wolves and have a little trouble. So I'll see you next time in the next Better Than the Wolves episode. And uh, hopefully um, it's going to be amazing. So I'll see you then. Goodbye.